Hello, Officer fans, and welcome to this week's Debbie Mason Coaches Report. My name is Rachel Vogel, and today I'm joined once again by the head coach of Hofstra Softball, Adrian Clark. Coach, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, well, glad to hear you're doing well, because it was once again another series win for the Pride. Hofstra, safe to say, is rolling through the conference competition. Um, you went two and one against UNCW this past weekend, a team that was you knew was going to be a very highly anticipated series heading into the weekend. Um, but once again, it was a big week. Bats were hot for the most part. Um, pitching was solid. So just uh, touch upon what you saw from Hofstra this week and what you liked from the team. Yeah, I I think the team just continues to battle and fight and figure out ways to get it done. And uh, throughout the weekend, we had uh, enough offense. And then in our last game, we saw it kind of just explode a little bit, which was really awesome to see. And then our pitching staff just did a good job of, of handling it, right? Like getting outs when we, when we needed to get outs and, um, you know, keeping, keeping the runs to a minimum. So, you know, when the entire team continues to do what's needed to be done for the team itself, it's really cool things happen. Definitely. But I think the highlight of the week um, was the offense, as you mentioned, a season high 11 runs in that final game, which had to have felt great you put the ball in play you caused havoc you were hitting the ball solid um nonetheless and Megan Giordano had a huge week at the plate um she stayed very hot and once again several other players just stepped up when their name was called so um just talk about the consistency now that you've seen week to week from your team yeah that is the thing that is going to continue to to help us throughout the remainder of our conference play is being consistent but also being consistent in make in adjusting a bat to a bat or pitch to pitch. Um, and I think that's, what's really cool is like, if you look at, uh, everyone in the lineup made an adjustment at some point within their three at bats in a game. Right. And when you have that level of consistency and you can work to kind of string some of them together, that's when like good things happen. So, um, I'm really thrilled and proud to see how we are continuing to become more consistent and not settling with with uh, how things go and working to adjust throughout the game. And one of the highlights of the week, again, obviously, uh, shout out to Nikki Mullen, who was named the conference pitcher of the week. A great honor for her, um, especially as we finish up in this home stretch. It's a nice bit of confidence for her to receive and a nice honor. She threw um, both wins this weekend for Hofstra, 12 innings pitched, uh, kept her ERA pretty low. Um, so just talk about Nikki and, um, again, we've talked about it um, week by week that you have just so many options inside the circle. Um, but it, and every week it's somebody different. So again, just your consistency in the circle. Yeah. Um, you know, we have had numerous talks as a pitching staff of how it's going to take everyone throughout the entire season to be able to, you know, put the team in the best position possible to have success. And the pitchers have truly bought into that and they've rallied behind each other and they know that each of them are going to have an opportunity to get it done. And then when their time comes, they're getting it done. And Nikki is no different. I mean, she has continued to impress me with each weekend that we play. She's, she can be put in a game at any point in time, start early relief, late relief, and she figures out a way to get it done. And there's just something so incredible about having someone on staff that can just figure out how to get it done. Um, you know, 99% of the time, right. She is, she's on it. So I think it speaks to, uh, you know, who she is as, as a player and, uh, just her competitiveness in, um, in not making the game bigger than what it is and focusing on one thing at a time. And she is just really excelled at doing that. Definitely. Well, coach, your team is now eight and three in CA action. You are more than halfway done with the schedule, which is kind of hard to believe, but here we are. And I think it's almost safe to say at this point that you've proved that your team is um, a force to be reckoned with. You have a target on your back. It almost seems like at this point, people are talking about Hofstra, uh, waiting for Hofstra, looking to play Hofstra, looking to beat Hofstra. So what is the message to your team now that you do have this target on your back and you are one of the top contenders in the league? Yeah, I mean, I I guess I would say that we don't see it that way. Um, I don't think that we feel or see that we have a target on our back, but rather that we 
are committed to, you know, doing whatever the team needs uh, at any given time to have success. So the more that we can just focus on what our identity is and, and what works for us and then make changes within, you know, what works for us is how we're going to continue to take it one day at a time, one step at a time. And, um, you know, we've spent a lot of time uh, talking about just the game itself and learning the game. And each week, our team continues to learn the game to a, to a level that I don't even know that they even realized they could. So the more that we just kind of focus on making the adjustments and taking what the game is going to give to us on that, that given day, um, the more success we're going to continue to have. Yeah, sounds good. Control the controllables, I guess, as they would say. Um, so with that, you head to Delaware this weekend, um, currently the first place team in the league, but really not by much. Um, should be another very, very highly anticipated series for Hofstra. Um, so just talk about what you might see from Delaware this weekend. Obviously, you spent some time there as a coach, and um, it's always a great series. Last time the two teams met, it was a very highly competitive series. So just two things, a couple things you might be seeing from Hofstra this weekend. Yeah, I think that you're you're going to see some really competitive games. I think that um, that Delaware has continued to uh, compete at a high level, and um, you know Jen Steele credit to her in what she has done in her short time of being there. And so, uh, really looking forward to just being able to compete another weekend and um, and play some good softball. Well, we are all looking forward to it as well. So once again, Hofstra fans. Uh, Hofstra at Delaware this weekend, uh, doubleheader on Saturday, April 23rd, 12 and 2.30 p.m., followed by a single game on Sunday, live stats and video available all weekend long. And uh, Coach, once again, congratulations on the series win this past weekend. And best of luck moving forward. Thank you. And that was head softball coach Adrian Clark, and you've been watching the W. Mason Coaches Report on GoHofstra.com.